more than 90% of Africa's trade is seaborne. So when pirates strike, it's not just the ship's owners or crew or insurers that suffer. Deploying warships in the Indian Ocean has helped deter Somali pirates. But now West Africa has the problem. Pirate attacks have jumped by a third this year alone. And finding a solution is high on the agenda at this year's Maritime and Coastal Security Africa Conference. This year's conference on piracy in African waters is trying to get maximum international integration of the response to pirates. It's trying to get the lessons that were learned in, off Somalian coast into West African waters where the Gulf of Guinea has increasing organized crime problems and piracy and the things that were successful off Somalia and indeed on land in Somalia need to be reproduced in West Africa. Oil is a big attraction for West African pirates. The cargo ships are slow, the cargo easy to sell. The Nigerian Navy has its hands full. What we are doing, uh, we make sure that there are stringent measures. The Nigerian Navy has put a lot of measures in, in place who nominate vessels, who carry vessels. Once a vessel carry petroleum product, it's not one of those that has been given approval by naval headquarters, that vessel stands arrested. Among the solutions, new state-of-the-art patrol vessels, some of them built here in Cape Town. But officials say what's really needed is another international naval effort. It seems to have worked on the East Coast. It should work on the West. Even if there's international will, such a naval force could cost time and money to put together. In the meantime, pirates could continue to attack. As of now, the Gulf of Guinea has been labeled the most dangerous stretch of waters in the world. Revis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.